good evening everyone this is an advice to everyone and also an experience i passed two years today on my way going back from location an elderly man came across to me and asked me if i know a way to divine hospital and i told him i don't know anywhere in asaba apart from the places i go for work then I said he should wait a minute, he should just give me a minute, let me go nearby and ask someone. So the person would come and direct him. And I went to a shop, I, got, I asked the guy if he knows somewhere that, uh, that, that is called Divine Mercy Hospital. He said yes. I said please come and come along and uh, give this man the direction. So he was stranded and he said he has someone that is about to die in the hospital. Then after that, the guy now came and gave the man the direction. So I now decided to go a little uh, away from that place to get something for myself to eat. The man now came with his car and said I should stop, that he has a vision for me. He saw a vision for me. I said, okay, I'm listening. He said, my mom left three years ago, two of us. I said, true. And my dad died when I was a little. I said yes. He said I should not worry that today must the end of my suffering because he has seen that I've been struggling since my mom left. I said yes sir. He said I should wipe my tears that everything is going to be alright. After that, he now said I should just wipe away my tears. I said thank you so much. He asked me if I'm a Christian. I said yes I'm a Christian. He now introduced himself as a reverend father. Reverend Father Jude, that's what he calls his name, his name, and said that he saw, saw a miracle going to happen on my way, that God has already answered my prayer because I have been suffering for long. So he now said, okay, I, do I have my ATM? I said, yes. He said, a big amount of money is going to enter my account. That is the way that God wants to wipe away my tears. I said, I believe in God. He told me that he loves that. He loves people that love God. In, in that side, I should bring out my ATM so he will pray on, on top of that my ATM so that the miracle will manifest. I brought out my ATM. He now prayed and uh, asked me to pray also. I prayed with my pure heart. He now gave me paper so I should wrap my ATM. I wrapped the ATM. He now said, I should, after, he now laid a prayer on that ATM and said, from today, I'll be seeing miracles. God have already answered my prayers. I said, thank you so much, sir. So he now said, I should put down my ATM inside my small post. That I should not bring it out so that all these boys walking around in the night will not collect it from me. I said, okay, sir. I put it inside the bag exactly the way he told me. Then for me to enter KK from traffic junction and reaching access bank junction, I saw a debit alert. I was like, what did I do with my money? Because I didn't go to any bank, I didn't go to POS. I was just cross-checking that in, uh, in my memory. And I saw another debit alert. Behold, this man just debited my lifetime savings. Money I've been saving all this while. He just collected it from me for no reason. Immediately I got home. What I saw in the exchange of my ATM card was this. This is what I got in place of my eight year. I cried and I know that crying will solve the problem. I also went to the uh, uh, bank. They said they can't do anything. Even if I uh, take the case to the police people, they will not do anything. And I laid a course on that man. I laid a course with the spirit of my late mom and my late father because he used it against me and also used God's name against it. Please. I know that this video will go viral and he will come across this video. Wherever you are, Mr. Er whether you call yourself Reverend Father Jude or anything you call yourself, your cup has already been filled up. This is your last bus stop. And I pray God will surely judge you. The cry of an offer will never go in vain. God will surely judge you wherever you are.